Check it out. This right here, this is onion grass. I was mowing the lawn the other day, and I kept smelling onion. I'm like, what the heck? So one of the neighbors, these things are evil. So I was out with the, the neighbor the other day, and he pointed out what they are. It's called onion grass. There's actually little uh, onions in there. <sighs> if I can get it up. Nope. Shoot. Let me find one I can pull up here. Maybe get them out with the onions in it. So like onions out here now. Alright, oh there's one. It smells like onions. Like chives kinda on us, I don't know. But that's what they are, they're onion grass, so I got some I pulled up the other day with my neighbors, so let me take you over to those, I'll show you those. All right, these were pulled up yesterday, but still. They still smell like onions. Whew, it's a long walk. All right, so. Look at that. Now, I've looked up on the internet, and these are actually edible, but I haven't seen the recipes. But there's something that looks just like them, and they're deadly. <laughs> but I just, I'm just finding all kinds of food sources around here that people wouldn't think of as food. I think that this is classified as a weed. Um, an invasive weed. It's usually around trees or edges. <sighs> like, that was near the street, the first one's up there, but this is the edges back here. Um, these are in the, around the planter on the neighbor's property, but... Yeah, these are, this is onion grass. And it looks like regular grass. I mean, these are, these are pretty, pretty big. I like the ones I have because they're mowed, but... They're out there, and I, I, well, heck, it's like ones out front there. But I just want to point that out to you. There's, there's food everywhere. If you don't look for. Um, so take a look around. I've I've started, or I should say I continued. I started a long time ago, but I slacked off on it. As I'm noting uh, all the food sources in my neighborhood, making a little map. Um, so I went ahead and I printed out my property. I got the property map from the surveys. And I've been marking everywhere there's food on it. I'll just mark the whole lawn as onion grass so I can, you know, you have to find it, you know. But, yeah, there's food everywhere. Don't overlook a food source in a survival situation. I mean, I, I really don't want to eat the bark or the inner bark off a tree, but I've done it, so I know what it is. I know what to expect it. It's kind of like a, it's like a bad potato chip uh, if you fry it. The, the inner bark, not the not the outside bark, but the inner bark. Um, you can do it. Um, if you go all the way around, you'll kill the tree, so don't do that. But, I mean, gosh, I wouldn't want one of these trees falling and hit my house. These trees are way too big. <laughs> They'll come and fall down. So, I wouldn't want that to happen, so, yeah. Anyway, I just want to point out something I found out today, or yesterday. And I thought it was interesting, and I wanted to share it with you. Now, a lot of you guys just say, well, yeah, of course we know what that is. Well, I didn't, and why don't you have a video on it? You could have taught me something. You know, if you if you just put out a video that you find interesting, because people say, I don't do videos on. Just do what's interesting to you. I find this fascinating. Look at this. This is right here in my yard. Oh, it's my neighbor's yard, but this is, these are in my yard, all over my yard. Because I, I thought, what the heck, yesterday I was mowing, and I said a couple of days ago, I was mowing, and I smelled onion, like, what, what, I hope I'm not having a stroke or something, you know, smelling weird stuff, but, that's food, I'm pretty sure it's food, he said it was onion, onion grass, so I trust him, but, you know, Google everything, you know, you don't know what's food, what isn't, you know, I mean, there's a salad out there, you know, just, wow, you know, and, and and this is my land, so I know what's on it, what chemicals, and what is and what isn't. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna I'll go to the other area there and grow some food. Um, I'm gonna do raised gardens probably. And you know, I've got I've got so much compost now. Once I get the bagger for my lawnmower, or lawn tractor, or gar I guess it's a garden tractor. Garden tractor is what they call them. So from now on, when I say tractor, I mean garden tractor. So, when I get the bagger with that, I'll, I'll have the leaves and the grass and all the carbon and the nitrogen and I'll just mix all the compost in down. I'm going to have an infinite supply. <laughs> I've got so much 
to mow here, but but this this is fascinating to me. This is just so cool. Um, like I said, if you guys want to post links below to things that are food that people don't don't know their food, I mean I don't know what what my plants are edible. Like for example, a while back I was trying to trim the hedges up because they were just out of control. Okay, okay, killed it, murdered. You know I didn't mean to. But, you know, I don't have to answer anybody because it's mine. But those are okay and those are okay and such. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find some, like, blackberries or something I can put in here. And that will grow over and, you know, become a natural defense. And keep people looking in the windows and such and getting close to the house. But it's also a source of food. So I think it's blackberries or raspberries. Whatever has the thorns, I think it's blackberries. But, you know, I can do that. Or I can get rose bushes here if you want or whatever, but... Both of those are food. Roses are food. You've heard of rose hips. That's that's foods full of uh, vitamin C, I believe. In fact, fun fact. Now, I'm, now that I'm rambling, anyway, it's gonna go with it. Um, back in the day when they had the plague, uh, they used to use rose hips to try to treat it. Uh, the high vitamin C in the rose hips would, would help with that, I guess. The black plague, I think it was. I read that somewhere. Don't quote me on it. Yeah, go ahead and quote me on it. Who cares? Alright, so, anyway, let me know what you guys find in your yards that's edible. Um, I don't even know what these plants are called, to be honest. You know, they're, they're pretty bitter. I tried tried chewing one. It's pretty bitter. I don't think it's edible. But there's an edibility test you can do. Maybe I'll do a video on that uh, sometime this week, on the edible, edibility test. Anyway, I've gone on too long. I'm, I'm babbling. I can tell because I'm so tired. <laughs> It's been, it's been rough at work, man. It's been rough. Huh, so rough. All right, everybody. This is NCP. NCP. See, there we go. Have a good one.